Hello everyone and welcome back to Fully Playable Games. So on today's video we are heading back out to the charity shops in search of some new games to add to the collection and anything else interesting that I can find. And I will say we do manage to find something that I think is really cool actually. Not seen it before. Um, it's not worth a lot of money but still a good pickup. You will notice today as well that we are actually somewhere different. We're not in the normal charity shops, and I am actually down in Canterbury. So the company that I work for have got an office down in Canterbury, and I had to go down and do some work. So decided that I would take my backpack and my GoPro and go and have a look in some of the charity shops. And straight off the bat, we can see that there is not a bad little selection of games. And there are a couple that I'm going to pick up. Some for resale, some for the collection. Uh, what I will also say as well is my tracking app is very out of date um, when I went to this charity shop. So I haven't really got that to fall back on. Um, can't sort of check where I am with things and yeah just have to try and remember so next up we are just about to look in the British Heart Foundation just looking in the window they've got a couple of different bits some anime stuff in there as well um, but yeah don't really see anything that I wanted to pick up And then as we head back to the DVDs, so I'm having a look. They do have a really good selection of DVDs in here. The only problem that I find with the British Heart Foundation is that they can be very overpriced. So we've got another manga DVD there. And yeah, just having a, a scan through, see if there's anything worth picking up. Especially ever, anything that we haven't got in the collection already. Uh, a, that was a, a new and sealed copy of Blade Runner. Um, I was going to see if that was worth maybe picking up to flip. And getting towards the bottom. And there we go. This is the really good find. So I think I put a picture of this up on my socials when I found it. It is an E3 blowout DVD. And it covers a whole load of new games that were being released at the time. It's not, as I say, it's not something that I've seen before. And yeah, I end up picking it up because, one, because I haven't seen it before. And I think it would be quite a cool addition to have in the collection. And I will admit, I haven't watched it yet. Um, I've had it for quite a while now. Uh, this was filmed, as you can see, they've got a Christmas section there. So it's actually filmed before Christmas. But yeah, just not been able to put it out. Well, I've been catching up on videos, and we're, near, we're nearly caught up, actually. Next up, we're back in one of the normal charity shops. We're in the Hospice of Hope, and just heading up the back. So straight away, I see a PS4 title. Uh, it's Lego Dimensions, which I think we've already got in the collection, but I'm probably going to pick it up to flip some of the Lego games do sell for quite good money. And then we're going to head out the back quickly. And as soon as I walk out the back, I see an absolute truckload of games. I think they're, in the, they're just above me. And 
what I have done as well is out the front, I did pick up a couple more games. Uh, I think they were mostly 360 titles. But uh, I didn't get any footage of that because the footage that I did get, there you go, you'll see there's a pile there. I think there's four titles in there. Yeah, the reason that wasn't in the video was because they were just off camera because they were up high and, yeah, didn't... Um, didn't get me shot that well, so I left that bit of footage out. So, a couple more 360 titles there. Yeah, more 360 titles. But that is still not the best. I think I'm pulling them down. No, not them. <laughs> Keep going. There was so much that I picked up at this um, this visit to the charity shop. I can't believe it took me this long to get them down. <laughs> There we go. So, you see there, there's an absolute stack of PS4 titles. Um, so, I've got Destiny in the collection. Don't bother picking that up. You see there, there's a copy of Gravity Rush, Mass Effect 3, that's Destiny 2 Steelbook, Infamous Second Son, Lego Worlds. So, I do pick up Lego Worlds as well, and um, I'm going to bundle that together with... The Lego Dimensions. Um, I say I'm going to. I already have, and they have already sold. I think they sold for about twenty-five pounds. So that was some more money that I could put back into the to picking up new games. But yeah, I think that's it for Hospice of Hope. I think what we'll do is we'll move on to the next charity shop now. So here we are, we are in Bernardo's now, which is a couple of doors up from Hospice of Hope. I normally trek into these two shops uh, during the week when I go into, the, go into work. I'll pop out on my lunch break and go into these charity shops. And just looking through, you can probably see a couple of the titles now. Uh, the original Batman. That was an absolutely brilliant film. And I will admit, uh, with the Batman films, I've pretty much enjoyed all of them, except for... Uh, what was the last one of the old one? The, the George Clooney one. I uh, hated that one. But all the others I've really, really enjoyed. But back to the games. We've got a Wii title. So it's Nerf End Strike. It is bots complete, but I don't realise until I film the pickups part of the video uh, how damaged that in set of instructions are. Um, they're completely water damaged and absolutely saturated. And then we've got another one, uh, Guinness World Records. Um, I end up, the reason I picked those two up is because I've never seen them before. And then we're going to finish off in this shop. I can't remember what it is. I think it's Age, Age UK. That was it. Um, and this was one of the charity shops that I go to in another town. But normally when I go there, it's always closed. So this was the first time I've ever got to go in. And it has been opened. And one of the second titles I see there was a PS2 demo disc. Now, whenever I see the PS2 demo discs, I always pick them up. Uh, because I think I just like to have them in the collection. Okay, so we are back from the charity shops, and yeah, 
an absolutely breathtaking haul today. Uh, really, really chuffed with some of the games that we've picked up. So let's dive straight in and have a look at what we've got. So the first one that we got was Virtual Tennis uh, 2009 on the PS3. Uh, we paid a pound for this one. Looking online, uh, very different prices on this one. A uh, pound at CEX, 750 on eBay. But the eBay ones were listed as new other. So, yeah, not too sure on that one. Um, it is box complete, which is good. Then, next up, we've got Splinter, Splinter Cell uh, Conviction on the Xbox 360. That's all I'm going to say on that one. I mustn't have checked it in the shop. Uh, yeah, the manuals are all glued or painted together. And... There we go. There's that one. <laughs> uh, then we've got the Nintendo E3 Blowout. And I saw this, and it was so unique that I had to pick it up. Um, I think, if I remember rightly, it is from... I'm trying to see what date on it is. Yeah, uh, Nintendo's 2004 E3 presentation. Obviously, I don't think... Uh, back then, you probably didn't have the, the big broadcasted uh, conferences that we get now. But this one covers Legend of Zelda, Metroid Prime 2, Paper Mario 2, Star Fox, um, Pikmin 2, uh, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, the Nintendo DS, and loads more. So, yeah, really good. It was something that I picked up, it was really unique, and that was the reason why I picked it up. Uh, paid $1.99 for it. Um... There's no prices on CEX, obviously, but uh, you can pick them up on eBay for £5. So, yeah. Then, we managed to pick up a PS1 title. It's not an amazing PS1 title, but it's still a PS1 title. And it is Brian Lara Cricket. Now, I am not into cricket games at all. Uh, this is purely to add to the collection... I doubt that I'll ever play it um, unless my new series takes off and then there's the potential. Um, so I'm not sure when this video is going out yet. Um, if it is earlier on in the week, then potentially there'll be a new series that I'm going to give a go to on uh, Friday. will be when the video out. And what I'm going to do is essentially a random game from my collection. So I've got a list pick, a list put together of every game in the collection so far. And we're going to be basically putting that into a, a random picker and letting just picking a random game out to play. That way I get to play some of the games that I've not played so far, some games that I've put off playing, or even some games that I would never have really played. And yeah, we'll get to see what they're like. Don't, as I say, not 100% sure when that video is coming out. Um, I haven't recorded it as of yet. So hopefully it will be out this week, um, either before or after this one. But with Brian uh, Lara, we picked that up for a pound. It's not available at CEX, and it is going for 350 on eBay. Then, next up, we've got Transformers War for Cybertron. Now, I think we picked this one up recently for the PS3, if I remember rightly. Yeah. I think we've picked it up. I think it's a recent video where we picked this up for the PS3. Um, it does need a new case. The back cover is absolutely destroyed. But it is box complete. Um, for some reason, someone's decided to put the, the sticker over the manual so that you can't actually open it. 
Luckily, it's not on there too tightly. There we go. So it's off without any damage to the manual. Uh, so with Transformers, we paid a pound for that one. And yeah, as I predicted in my in the when I had this in the PS on the PS3, um, it does go for really good money. Uh, CEX are selling it for ten pounds, and on eBay you would pay twelve pound fifty. So yeah, some I think a lot of the Transformers games that I've come across have all been worth really good money. So they're definitely worth picking up. Then we get into the absolute cracker of the video. So you would have seen, we went into the Hospice of Hope, um, saw a, I think we got one PS4 title out the front. Um, that I already had in the collection, so that has gone to resale, and I think that's already sold. Um, then we went out the back, and there was literally loads on the shelf, and I was just pulling PlayStation 4 titles left, right, and center. And yeah, so we've got five here to add to the collection. The first one that we've got is Destiny 2. Um, this is a steelbook edition. Um, there's no manual. Not too sure whether it had one in the first place. But, uh, yeah. Um, I think I've got... Not sure whether it's on the PS4 or the Xbox One that I've got a copy of Destiny 2. But definitely haven't got the steelbook version. So we paid £4 for that one. Uh, it goes for one fifty at CEX. Um, but that 150 is for the standard edition, not the steel box. And on eBay, it's going for £6.50, and that is for the steel book edition. Then we've got Elder Scrolls Online. Um, that is box complete. And uh, we paid £2 again for that. Uh, £2.50 on eBay, £3 on. Sorry, £2.50 at CEX, £3 on eBay. And yeah. Never played any of the Elder Scrolls games, so they could be a good one to come up in the random game from the collection playthrough. Uh, next up, we've got Infamous Second Son. So this was one of the... I don't know if it was quite a release title. I think it was a release title for the PS4. Um, I know it was an early PS Plus game on the PS4. Looks like it's box complete. I'm not too sure otherwise. Uh, once again, paid £2 for that one. Uh, that one goes for £5 at CEX, £6 on eBay. Then we've got Lego Marvel uh, Super Heroes 2. Now, I have got the original of this. And I remember when I picked up my PS4... Uh, game were really heavily pushing it because they had a they were selling them brand new for cheaper than what CEX were trading them in for. So they were trying to obviously bump up their sales and they were saying to everyone, "Oh yeah, pick up a copy of this and even if you don't want it, you can trade it in at CEX for XYZ." <laughs> so it was really bad. Um, I did end up picking it up uh, with the thought, "Well, yeah, I could trade it in." But in the end up, it just got added in. And I think it stayed sealed if it's not still sealed. No, I think I have opened it. I think um, some of the kids have played it. So, yeah, I don't think it's sealed. But, yeah, I saw Lego Super Heroes 2. And decided to pick that up as well. Uh, £2 we paid. £12 at CEX. £10 on eBay. Um, and once again, looks box complete. It's just got the one little leaflet inside. Then, the absolute cracker for today. Um, it is the last PS4 title that we picked up from the Hospice of Hope. But it is amazing. <laughs> and it is Gravity Rush Remastered. Um, the, v, uh, the PS Vita smash hit now on the PS4. So, once again, looks box complete. And, yeah, the only thing with it is, obviously, it's a Region 4 title. Uh, which I believe, looking at it, is Australia. But, yeah, not too sure. It will play in the PS4. There's no issues with that. Um, 
So once again, we paid two pound for this. Uh, looking online, it sells for thirty-eight pounds at CEX, and it sells for fifty pounds on eBay. So an absolute cracker there. Really is probably one of the best pickups that I've had in quite a while. Then next up, we get on to a. Well, we've got an Xbox 360 game, then a PS4 game, PS3 game, sorry, and then a couple more Xbox 360s. So we've got Bioshock on Xbox 360. Um, oh, what have we got here? So Bioshock disc, Battlefield Bad Company. Okay, so it's box complete Bioshock, which is good. I'll take the Bad Company disc out for now. Uh, we paid a pound for this one. Uh, looking online, it sells for two pounds at CEX, three pound on eBay, which isn't too bad. Um, I think we have got Bioshock 2. I think I remember seeing that recently. Uh, it's probably hidden a row back now. But yeah, so I've got Bioshock 2, and I think I've got Bioshock Inf I definitely got Bioshock Infinite. On the 360. I think I've got Bioshock 2. So I picked this up to complete the set. Next up we've got Mass Effect 3 on the PS3. It is box complete. And yeah. So we paid a pound for that one. Uh, it sells for 150 at CEX. £3 on eBay. So not a massive difference. A bit cheaper at CEX but... Hey ho. Then we've got Battlefield Bad Company 2. And so what are we doing? What is going on here? Um I think is this a two disc game? I don't think it is. Nope, so we've basically we've got an extra copy of Battlefield Bad Company 2. Um, that was in with Bioshock for some reason. Pass. <laughs> um, so for this one, we paid a pound again. And do sells for a pound at CEX, three pounds on eBay. So not too bad there. Then we've got Battlefield 3 Limited Edition. Uh, physical Warfare Pack. Um, don't know... So it's a two disc version. Uh, looks like it's missing the manual. Um, it's only got the Xbox 360 um, like leaflet inside. Um, don't know if it meant to come with a manual, but I'll assume it did. Uh, paid a pound for this one again. Uh, this one sells for three pounds on both CEX and eBay. And then we've got a couple more left. So we've got one more Xbox 360 title, and that is Medal of Honor Warfighter. Um, yeah, don't think we've got this one. Pretty sure we haven't got this in the set, in the collection. Uh, once again, it's the disc and the little Xbox leaflet. The case is bashed, so I'm going to have to replace the case on this one. Uh, but we paid a pound for it. Uh, it sells for 150 at CEX, three pounds on eBay. Then we've got Guitar Hero World Tour on the Wii. Uh, this one is box complete, obviously game only. Uh, that one go. We paid a pound. Sells for three pounds on a CEX, four pounds on eBay. Then Guinness World Records, the video game. Uh, this one we paid a pound for, uh, 75p at CEX, and £2 on eBay. Um, I think it is missing the manual though. Then the last Wii title is Nerf Endstrike. Uh, we paid £2.50 for this one. Um, it is box complete, but the manual is... Yeah... Okay, you can't even call that box complete. The manual is completely destroyed, completely water damaged. Yeah, no, not in a good condition, that one at all. Um, but the... 
Again, this looks okay. I will admit, I do need to be really checking games a bit more. I think I did check this one. Um, but, yeah, just needs a bit of TLC um, and a new manual. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, £2.50 paid. £2 at CEX, £5 on eBay. And then the final pickup today was the PlayStation 2 official magazine uh, demo disc number 25. Uh, we paid 25p for this. And it's not available at CEX, but you can get hold of it on eBay for £4. And yeah, I do like getting these demo discs uh, whenever I see them. As long as they're reasonably priced, I do tend to pick them up. Um, I think we've got... We've definitely got a couple in the collection. A couple that I've actually picked up recently as well. And yeah, that is all the games for today. So, let's quickly run through the totals because I'm a bit worried that this video has run on a bit too long. Uh, so, we paid £25.74p. Uh, if we were to buy everything from CEX, we would be paying £86.25p. And if we were to pick everything up from eBay, it would be a whopping £137.00. So over £110 more than what we actually paid. So yeah, some really good pickups there. Really good pricing. And yeah. So that is going to wrap up today's video. But before you head off, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell. Um, we are getting really, really close to the 500 subscriber mark. I think when I looked the other day, we were on 419. No, we were on better than that, 425. So we were 75 short of the 500, in which we're going to be doing an absolutely massive giveaway. And yeah, but with that said, I am going to wrap the video up there. So thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.